Hi everyone, I have um, messages from today, February 11th, 2024, and July 11th, 2023. And I'm just going to say a quick prayer and get started. Lord Jesus, I thank you, Father God, for your, your words, your guidance, direction. I pray that we would seek you, know you, want you, love you, serve you all the days of our life. I pray for my brothers and my sisters. I plead the blood of Jesus over them, their homes, their jobs, their coming and their going, Lord. I pray for the lost and the confused, that they would be found in seeking your ways, your will, and truth, not leaning on their own understanding. I pray that this message goes out to everybody that's meant to hear it, Lord, that they would walk in truth and understanding, that they would come to you with discernment and pray for discernment and understanding. In the name of Jesus, you get all the glory, honor, and praise. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Okay, February 11th, 2023. <clears throat> and again, always pray about everything. Pray for understanding. Pray that the Lord would give you confirmation, understanding, and pray for truth that he would show you. We prophesy in parts that he would show you everything that you need to know and in ask for guidance because he will show you he'll show you in another video with confirmation he'll show you in the bible he'll start showing you you'll pray for eyes to see and ears to hear pray for a heart for understanding and i'm gonna get started <clears throat> february 11th 2024 share my words child with those who have ears to hear and a heart for my truth tell them prepare the hearts to see the unimaginable Yes, child, three days of darkness will bring out things they are not prepared prepared for. Close those blinds. Do not open those doors. Hearts will break. Hearts will fail. Pray they do not. Pray for all your loved ones. Many, many of my own are not prepared. Mocking and scoffing, they lost their way. They do not have eyes to see. Many will be caught unaware. Supernatural help will help my own. Pray for supernatural help for your loved ones. Nothing is impossible. Trust and believe. It is the only way. I am your only way. Call on me, your Abba, your Adonai. Do, not, do you not have eyes to see this world for what it is? This is not your home. Do not conform to the broken ways of this world. Loving this world is not my way. Pull yourself from the worldly things of this world and press in daily more and more. I am your only way. Prepare, I say, now while you still have time. Come to my feet. I am yours and you are mine. I want not one to perish, but child, I tell you, many will. Many of my people are not prepared for what they will see. My heart aches for the lost. As many will come home and many will not. Tell them I love them and the warning call is just about over. Prepa prophet after prophet out sounding the alarm and still few have awakened. <clears throat> Next step, many will awaken. Fully, I tell you, let it not be too late. I call my fivefold to report to my feet. Orders have been sent out. End time army. I call to my feet. Put down those daily distractions that are not of me. I send out my own to pull in the harvest. Prepare the hearts for all to come. Pray, read my word, worship, and fast. Prepare, prepare, prepare. Pray without ceasing. Now is that time. Get in the boat. Departure is sooner than you think. Be prepared always. Your Abba, your Adonai, Yeshua Messiah, Jesus the Christ of Nazareth. I am that I am, the great I am. Who do you say I am? Prepare for darkness. Know the way, know the truth. And that was this morning's message. And again, pray about everything. Pray for discernment and understanding. These are words of the Lord and he will guide your heart to know and understand what you need to know and understand. What applies to you? 
So pray, pray for discernment and understanding. <clears throat> July 11th, 2023. Hear the words of the Lord. Yeshua, the beginning and the end of all days. Who do they say I am? I am he who was, who is, and is still to come. I am that I am. King Jesus, I am he. Worship my mighty name. Tell them, daughter, I am worthy to be king. I am he. All will bow down before the Lord of Lords. They don't know be better now, but one day soon they will see. <clears throat> they will have opened their eyes and heart. Pray that they do. I am the Almighty. I am. There is nothing I am not capable of. Nothing is too hard for me. You only need to ask, who do they say I am, child? With you, I am well pleased. The, the good will be better and the better will be grander. Much to commence. All will come to flourishing. I am that I am. How great I am. Great is your faithfulness. Tell them, child, I am worthy to be praised. I am their peace. I am their provider. In the shadow of my wings, all they need to do is seek wholeheartedly. Ask, seek, knock. I am a prayer away. Soon my body comes together. Our meeting place, Gaboa. Training soon. Tell them I love them. There is no other that can love them like I do. No one is capable. Yeshua, the true Messiah, Jesus the Christ, I am that I am, the one and lone, only great I am. I love all the little children, all the children of the world. My ways are higher. Tell them my ways are uncomprehensible. And that's the message for today. And as always, take everything to the Lord. Pray for discernment, understanding. Pray for guidance that the Lord would guide you and direct you to know what you need to know to open up your eyes spiritual eyes ears and heart for understanding um and if you're not sure about something the only thing you need to do is pray for the holy spirit to teach you and show you and do not lean on your own understanding without taking it to the lord um only we think that we know but we don't know um, unless he's teaching. How do I put this? I've come to understand, and I don't know, and we're all in different play, um, phases of our walk and our knowledge. Um, but the Lord really does teach you and guide you. If, if you can just trust and believe that his ways are higher um and truly believe and follow him if you're giving it your everything praying worshiping fasting um reading the word he's gonna guide and direct you but you have to be open and not thinking i know everything i know i don't know everything um and i i pray to not lean on my own understanding um, I came literally as a blank canvas from going to church for years, believing I can live however I want. And I thinking I'm okay. I, I wasn't. So I know that I, there is so much I'm still learning. I, I, I do not claim to know it, everything at all, but I know I've come a long ways and from knowing nothing to being in there is not one day that goes by i'm not in my bible every day this is our our bread our life this is our everything because if you're not in your bible it's going to be very easy to be deceived because deception is real and it's very very important to be in your word to be praying worship worshiping fasting it's going to strengthen your walk um and you, you're again the three day water fast. Um, you can start with Jul, Julian at Open Eyes of Heart, and I have the link down at the bottom. Um, but if you if you're unable to find it or whatever, just make an, a comment and I'll um, I'll link it into the the um, the comments. 
and I think that's it. God bless you guys. I pray that you take everything to the Lord. Pray for truth above anything. He will show you truth. He will guide you and direct you. Um, and Holy Spirit truly is our, our teacher. Um, know that Jesus is the only way, the only truth to everlasting life. There is no other way. Jesus is the only way. Um, heaven is real. Hell is real. Demons are real. And angels are real. And we want to be on Jesus' side. There is a, a good side and there's a bad side. Just like there's blessings and cursings, curses with what's going on right now. Um, we're in a battle. We're in a daily battle. And the only way to put on our full armor of God is to be praying, worshiping. Yes, say read Ephesians 6, but also be praying all every day. Be reading your Bible every day. Be put down this world, their music, their the the music, the movies, all of that. Um all of that is worldly and it's not about being it's not about the law it's just about following and wanting to get closer to Jesus and in order to, to be in to be able to get close to him you need to put down the distractions so you can be able to hear him um so put on your full armor that's that's everything this is our meat and potatoes and we want to eat this every day um that's how he there's messages where he talks about being malnourished because you're not getting your your meat and potatoes um strengthening yourself with fasting with the word of god with praises strengthening your your angels by praising the lord um and that's it guys i love you um I hope that you guys, that this is an encouragement for you guys to keep on going. Do not give up. We are so close. Do not give up. I, people are giving up all over the place. Just endure. Pray to endure. Pray pray for endurance. Pray for the Lord to prepare your heart for what's to come. That's, that's what I pray for. Pray to not lean on your own understanding. Pray to not be deceived. Block, bind, rebuke, deception. Um when you read your word tell pray for discernment understanding and revelation that the holy spirit would come down and and teach you what you need to know i prayed for the lord to guide and direct my heart mind and soul so many times um pray for our loved ones more than all day if you can pray for for them to not be lost for them to their souls to be awakened to the days that they live so that they can call on the Lord. I pray all the time that they know to call on the Lord. And I, when I send out those message, those prayers to them, I put, I put little clues in there so that they, I hope that they can, when they need to call on the Lord, they know to remember, this is what I need to pray for. This is, I, I tell them in there and I've told them in real life, know that there is power in the name of jesus call on the name of jesus when you need help call on the name of jesus and there's something else that um the lord told me to tell them is when there's going to be war because there is that they are to um pray to be bl blind to the enemy so that the enemy cannot see them so when that time comes remember that whether you believe it or not it doesn't matter whether you believe it or not like i told them you don't need it you don't need to believe it right now if you don't that you don't have to but when you're going to remember this and it's okay that you don't remember you don't believe it right now it actually is because when it's time to that you're going through something that you know i need a, i lord jesus make me blind to the enemy father god cover me like only you can cover me under the shadow of your wings pray psalm 91 pray psalm 23 those are my daily prayers of my verses i wake up and i go to bed i read psalm 23 91 every day there is not one day that i don't go i don't read that that's just extra that's not even part of my 10 chapters that i i read a day that's just 
something that I, I feel like in my heart, I feel like those are things I need to read every day. And I try to take little clips from those and put those verses in those in my prayers that I send to my my sons and my um there's I have like a list of people that I send prayers to. Um that they wake up. The I I have a, a prayer that I send. Every day it's different. I put a verse at the bottom and they wake up to those verses so that that's like the first thing that I'll send them out like before five, five, six in the morning. And sometimes like I try not to send it too early to some people because I know they don't wake up that early. But when they wake up, they have those prayers to wake up to. Whether they read it or not, it, I know that when they're going through something, they're reading. I can tell. It's I could just tell who's reading it and who's not. When they, when they're I can tell when they're going through something and they're not from the way they they read their prayers but it's just a habit that I got into and I've been doing this with some of them for like I think since 2022 2021 maybe towards the end and then I added a few people but it's something that at least it puts a little seed in their head so I hope that helps you guys I love you guys I'm talking too much today but I love you guys and I hope that these tips have helped you and are going to help you with your walk have a good night god bless you